Hi, and welcome back to the Little Back House. My name is Sandra, and I am the owner and artisan behind this channel. I upcycle home decor pieces and small pieces of furniture uh, for my booth that I have inside my existing hair salon. So today I took this picture that hadn't sold, it's been on my showroom floor, and I decided to do a little salt wash technique on it. If you've never used salt wash, it can be mixed with any type of paint. Today I mixed it with uh, Wise Owl Chalk Synthesis Paint. And what the salt wash does is it allows the paint to stick to any type of surface and it also gives it a textured finish. So I mixed equal parts of the salt wash with the Wise Owl Chalk Synthesis Paint and I stippled it onto this piece. And I used a stippling motion just because I wanted it to have a really textured finish and I also wanted it to get into all the nooks and crannies of this picture. So that's what I'm doing here. And like I said, uh, salt wash can be mixed with any kind of paint. It can be chalk paint, enamel paint, mineral paint, latex paint, any kind of paint, but it allows the paint to stick. So that's what I'm doing here. If you haven't tried it before, it also uh, will give you a concrete type of finish, a pottery type of finish, just depending whether you stipple it or how you apply it in different um, types of strokes and methods with your brush, you'll get a different type of look. So now I am just mixing up a little bit more. It was a really thick, thick at the bottom. So I added just a little bit of water just to kind of thin it out a little bit and make it a little bit um, more spreadable. It was a kind of a leftover can of paint that I had used on a previous project. So you know with chalk paint, it just thickens and thickens over time. So I just add a little bit of water just to kind of thin it out a little bit. And then I just continue stippling onto this piece. Sometimes you can get away with just one coat. Other times you can just give it a light second coat just to get the little pieces that you missed. I'm giving it just a quick little dry with my heat gun and because I use chalk paint it's gonna dry really really fast which is another thing another reason why I like to use chalk paint with the salt wash and I also use like to use chalk paint for my small projects because it's a fast drying product So here I'm just applying the second coat, just trying to find those little pieces that are peeking through and I see a little bit of shine. Uh, I'm just going through and giving it a very, very light second coat. As you can see, the first coat was very thick, so it has really, really good coverage. The salt wash also makes your paint go a long way. 
because it does thicken it and the coverage is so amazing. Usually the second coat is just a very, very light second coat. Okay, so now I'm going to add a layer of milk paint, which I like to layer my salt wash with milk paint. It's a translucent coverage, and I just like the texture and the transparency that real that milk paint offers. Um, so I take um, some measuring spoons that I got from the dollar store, and I take a scoop of the milk paint, and in equal parts, I add a scoop of water. And then I have like a little mini whisk and I just whisk it until the paint and the water are combined and it becomes um, frothy. So I'm just putting a little pour of water right in there and then you'll see me with the whisk. Sorry, my arm gets in the way I'm doing. Instagram on one side and YouTube on the other side. So my arm gets in the way sometimes. So sorry about that So I'm just taking that whisk and I'm just gonna whisk it whisk it really good If you don't have one of these little mini whisks, you could just use like a plastic fork and just combine it and you'll see that it starts to Absorb the water and then gets frothy once it gets frothy You can go ahead and use it if you don't like the, the feel or the texture of the frothiness You just wait about 10 minutes and it'll go away and then you can go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to use one of my round R12 brushes and I'm trying to couple different things because I'm not really sure how I want to do it. So I sprayed um, a little bit on the pitcher and then I even put a little bit of water on my brush just to kind of water down that yellow. I'm not really sure how the yellow is going to look over the gray, but I just wanted to try it. I thought the yellow would be good for spring. I'm not sure it's the right combination, but you know, you got to try different color combinations and then you find what you like. So I, this color of this milk paint is called Sunflower and the gray on the chalk paint is called Weather Vane. So now I'm squirting some water, just kind of letting that yellow drip into the crevices and I'm like, eh, it's looking okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to still play with it. I take a little paper towel to kind of dab. It's just looking a little darker than I probably would have liked, but like I said, it's just a color combination that I decided to try. So now I'm taking a little bit more of the sunflower milk paint and going over it, and I'm just kind of dabbing. And just, I always tell people, you know, try different color combinations, try um, different techniques, and you'll know when you're done because you'll like it. I always just keep working on a piece and adding different things and I just work until I like it and it looks okay like that it's getting into the into the um, 
crevices of the picture. So now you can kind of start to see the outline of the bunnies and you know, you know, what it is you're looking at. So here I am just going to add the sunflower all the way around. Now I'm going to do the same thing and hit it with a little heat gun and get this dried as quick as possible so I could move on to another layer. So once that's all dry, I try doing a little bit of a wet distress and I just wet a little piece of the towel and I give it a little rub and that takes off some of the milk paint and allows that 
um, salt wash mixed with chalk paint to, sh to come through. So I do that just to give it a layer of, of depth. And then I decided to get my soft dark brown wax by the Roll Milk Paint Company and go over it. And when I do this, it really, really deepens that tone of yellow, which I like, but uh, I'm not sure that that's really spring looking unless you're really, really into the dark colors. Um, then this might be your vibe. If you like those bright light colors, this might not be your vibe, <laughs> which is okay. You know, I always tell people just play with it because the way my mother raised me is there's a lid for every pot there's 31 flavors one for everybody so that's what i grew up hearing so i just always try different techniques and do different things and eventually it sells there's somebody that's going to come along and they're going to like it and they're going to buy it and you know other people might just walk by it and that's okay right we all have our own styles so then after I added some brown wax, I decided, well, let me add some white wax and see how that looks. And I totally did not like what the white wax was doing. It kind of gave it like a cloudy type of effect and I just was not liking it. So I'll show it to you in a minute. And I tried to get a smaller brush and really, really get it into those nooks and crannies. And I still just wasn't, it was just wasn't vibing with me. <laughs> so you can kind of see how it goes. Okay, so from there I tried to add in some more dark wax into those crevices and I'm just continuing to add layer upon layer and you can kind of see how the original pottery is kind of peeking through in some some spots and I do like that I think that adds um, a little bit of texture and a little pop of color here and there so I'm okay with that I'm just not really sure how I feel about the brown wax and the white wax. So I just continue to go on and I'll show you how I finally um, resolve this feeling. <laughs> Okay, 
so yeah I'm not happy with it <laughs> I think it just looks too dark it's just not really feeling like spring to me so it's pretty but I don't know if it was the right color choice for these little bunnies so I decided to mix up some stone color milk paint which is kind of like a white with a gray undertone a very light light gray undertone so you can see the side it doesn't look bad but I think I like it better with this on it I just think it looks a little more spring vibe so there I am just really packing it on and just really covering it now the rule of thumb is you're not supposed to put paint over wax but I did it and it's milk paint not really like acrylic paint so or chalk paint so it's a very very watered down and I just wanted to just like tone it down um, I just felt like it was just so dark so I just wanted to lighten it up so I did it and it worked um, I think it came out really nice so that just covers it all up so I just want you guys to see that I go through all the steps just like you when I'm creating and I make mistakes and I try different things until I know what I like so from here I'm going to wet my paper towel but I'm only doing this because I couldn't find my my container of wipes if I had my wipes handy which I normally do I could have just taken a wipe and done that but in the end I found them but for the video purposes I was just wetting a paper towel and just kind of dabbing off and now you'll kind of see the yellow and the darker gray kind of pop through and I'm okay with that I like how the white really really sits in those areas and just really kind of makes those bunnies pop and I think it made it look a little bit more in a spring kind of tone so I just do that all the way around and I'm getting more and more happy with it and I think it turned out really good let me know in the comments below if you have done things and you're not too happy with the color combo you picked and how you fixed it and if you think that I saved this piece or maybe you liked it before I put the lighter color milk paint on there did you like it when it was the sunflower with the dark brown wax or did you like it better with the white in there from the milk paint I think I like it like this but you know like I said to each his own there's 31 flavors but here it is all finished if you like this upcycling type of video please hit that subscribe button I am trying to build my channel and if you would be so kind to hit that thumbs up if you did like the video if you are looking for the paint and supplies feel free to go over to the littlebackhouse.com and place your orders there if you would like to see behind the scenes Go and follow me on Instagram at The Little Back House. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it.